Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips here at Dyke Waters in Lindsay, my hometown. Yeah, a long time ago, over 70 years ago. Well, I lived here for 20 some odd years, born and raised here. But anyway, let's carry on. We've had a couple of comments from divers who have said, I can't connect my BC hose, BC hose, to the inflator hose or whatever it is. I can't get it connected together. And it's not a complicated process, but yeah, there's a couple of tricks that can make it easier. And it can be difficult. No question, it can be difficult. There's things can screw it up. Let me go to explain what can happen. So essentially the problem is this. You've got your buoyancy compensator in one hand, you've got the low pressure inflator hose coming from the regular in the other, and you want to put that on there, okay? So you fit it under the, under the, and you push all you want, it will not go on. It's not supposed to, okay? Now you know this, you know this, but let me run through it anyway, be patient, okay? It's not supposed to go on like that, because on the end of this, this is called, it's called a QD, quick detach. There's a little section on the very end, and you all know this, you, you, you should have been taught this in your basic course. There's a little section on it, you gotta pull that back. Now once you pull that back, then you can slide it on, see? There you go, but, uh-oh, it pops right back off. You're not finished yet, you gotta slide that back, then push it on, let go, and now listen. Do you hear that click? Now it's on. No click, not on. Click, on. No click, not on. Click, on. <laughs> really that simple. So I make it look really simple, but even that is not always easy because there are some other things. First of all, quite commonly, this mechanism, that QD, is sticky. It doesn't pull back easily. There's three little chrome balls, little, like little ball bearings in there. They get sticky. They don't come out. Then they don't bounce back in. When they get to, you see it right down here, there's a, there's a little groove. They have to pop into that groove. Sometimes they don't pop. And then sometimes you get all the way on, you push like devil, and this doesn't click up. Okay, so the first thing you need to do if you're having a problem is check this. Make sure that this spins freely, and make sure that that goes in and out easily. If it doesn't, firstly, rinse it in fresh water. Put it in fresh water, move it a whole bunch, and then give it a spray with silicone spray, preferably water soluble, water soluble, water soluble. Oh, you laugh at me, I've heard you try to speak. Uh, <laughs> water soluble uh, silicone spray a little bit, so that moves very freely, step one. Secondly, just make sure, these are usually in pretty good shape, make sure that that's not all crusty and rusty too. There it goes. Now there's another, another trick, you see how easily I can put that on? Push it on, click. Yeah. or other devices too, because there's lots of devices that use that. Uh, you've seen this device, put it on, pull back, put it on, click. It's that easy, you see? nice and easy. But I'm cheating a little bit because often when you go to do this, the air is on on the tank. You're going to turn the air on. This is actually on a tank, this regulator. Turn the air on. Now, when you go to push this on, right, pull it back, slip it on, let go, and now push. Now when you go to push, the spigot, the part that's on the corrugated hose, has to push against the pressure of the Schrader valve that's in there. It's 150 PSI, so much harder. Not gonna go. Finally, you see, another little tip. Don't turn the air on, or if you're having trouble getting it on, turn the air off. Use your regulator to purge the airflow it. Pop, just that easy. So again, so how hard that was, and I wasn't, I wasn't faking there. I do fake sometimes, but uh, I'm married. But <laughs> I wasn't faking, that was actually very hard to put on. But now with no air, pull it back a little bit, slip it on. That was faking. Just that easy, just push it on, clicks in place. So that's a couple more tips. Make sure it's clean, lubricated, spins easily, make sure this is clean and lubricated, and put this together before you turn the air on. Maybe that'll help. We had a few comments, a couple of questions about that. Maybe that'll help a little wee bit. Hope so. Anyway, talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce here at Dive Kawartha in uh, Lindsay, Ontario. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.